to thank all of you. Excuse me. I have to see if that's working in just a second. Like it's I'll go back there with the paper. Uh -huh. We have a man who's technologically adept who's going back there to take care of his course. I want to, first of all, introduce the uh, chair of the Languages and Literature Department, Dr. Jim Edwards, and he will do the honors of introducing our guest. I'm chair of the Department of Languages and Literature. And it's my pleasure and my honor to introduce Dr. Raj Mali Shah Katak of the Pashto Academy, University of Peshawar and Peshawar, Pakistan. Dr. Katak is not only a gracious gentleman, as I learned last night when I had supper with him and his son, but he's also a first-rate scholar. He served as director of the Pashto Academy from 1995 to 2004, He's taught not only there, but also at Edwards College, which is also located in Shallow. His list of publications is indeed impressive. He's authored 12 books on a variety of subjects, among them the literary movements, poetry, and linguistic features of the costume culture. In addition, his scholarly production includes literally scores of scholarly articles, book reviews, uh, book prologues, translations, and so on. As I said, a first-rate scholar, a scholar of the first world. And we're doubly pleased that Dr. Katak, Dr. Katak's lecture this evening is, is titled Questions, Their Culture, Language, and Literature. Please join me in welcoming them, Dr. Raj Wali Shah Katak. Thank you very much. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's indeed a great honor for me to be among. Well, the topic on which I'll be speaking as uh, was uh, told in the introduction, the question of their culture, language, and literature, but I will, <coughs> sorry, I have a little problem with my throat. <clears throat> I'll start uh, from a couple of uh, the great uh, Pushto poet Pushal Khan Khadak. Pushal Khan Khadak, uh, and I've chosen the topic from uh, his dad couplet, so I'll say, Pashtuns, the kit and kins of Jacob. Pashtuns, the kit and kins of Jacob. The great Pashtu poet Pashtun Khantarak has said about the origin of the Pashtuns. He said, I translate his couplet, I try to translate it. Nothing more could be said about the beauty of the Pashtuns. It's enough that they are the Kitan Kens of Jeb. Those who know the depth in meaning and symbolism of Pashto Ghazal can understand that the poet symbolically points towards the legendary beauty of the Joseph, the son of Jacob. Jacob was the progenitor of the Bani Israel, and according to Hushal Khan Fatak Pashtuns are Israelites in origin, before becoming Muslims, they were Jews, and the lost tribe that settled in, in the mountains of both in Afghanistan. <coughs> Having a unique and distinct culture, the Pashtuns are living on the soil since thousands of years. They have a particular civilization, social norms, customs, and tradition. Their language Pashto is the backbone of their society. It is the language Pashto from which the nation Pashtun and their culture Pashtun really have emerged. All their oral traditions are preserved in this language. Every custom has its own particular meaning, which is called Nah in Pashto. So one can leave the land but cannot go against the nerves or the traditions and Pashtuns living with these nerves or traditions 
in particular style having distinct traditions and having a proud past which is their history. They are proud of their history because they ruled subcontinent of India themselves for centuries and also have been uh, helpful to the kings who ruled the subcontinent. They conquered the lands of India and were in the forefront of the armies of every conqueror. Pashtun has a wealth and shown which has a world out of their own. The Rathavites, Ghoris, Suris, Hilgis, the Lodis established their kingdoms with the support of Pashtun's forces, so much so that the Mughals were supported by the Pashtun in crossing the India from the hands of their own brethren, the Lodi. They would often be in forefront of any battle or war fought in the subcontinent, though the Pashtuns are famous as warrior people, but they had established great in the past. Their connection to the Buddhist and Zoroastrian civilization has been told by some of the historians. If little is known about them in the prehistoric age, but their recent history shows their contribution towards civilization of the Indian subcontinent. <laughs> the magnificent forts, buildings, and other historical monuments tell about their golden era of their history. Their colonies in central India and states like Rohelkund talk of their past glory in India. The Pashtuns not only fought wars for establishing kingdoms, the most famous Sufis and saints of India have Pashtun origin. They spread the lights of spirituality in India, particularly by spreading the teaching of Islam in the subcontinent. Their graves are still the famous centers of spirituality. Pashtun scholars, writers and poets have contributed a lot toward the culture of politeness in India. Many of St. Pashtun migrated in different times to India and got settled there. There they laid the foundation of Islamic civilization and taught the principles of Islam to the local community. Pashtuns are broad-minded and cooperating people. They have always worked for the welfare of the human beings. <coughs> Pashtun has such a broad spirit and